Hi everybody, so the last couple of videos we talked about doing invitations and one of the invitations we sent through text but the other one we sent through email. So the invitation will come through mindlight-invitation which is going to be the subject line and it will come from, remember we sent it to .com direct at Hotmail and it will be um, no reply at mindlightllc.net. So just make sure when you um, are looking for the invite or if you sent the invite to someone and they said they didn't get it that they check their junk mail because this one actually did go into my junk mail because it looked like something that people had seen. So this particular invitation or like all of them will say welcome to the MindLight family of helpers and it will tell them that they've been invited by Betty to help collaborate with Miss Badger and then give you some easy as one, two, three to start helping. Go ahead and open the app review the dashboard to identify unassigned tasks and accept the task. And then of course we give a nice thank you to Betty and let them know that many hands make light work. And it's super important for us to let them know that you really do need the help. And hopefully um, being invited personally will encourage them to be part of the team. And as always, you have to contact us here at the bottom. So if you need to get a hold of us by email, um, you can do that. Twitter page, Facebook, YouTube, which will have a whole bunch of really good tutorials and videos to help you out, and the web page. Now, once they get this invitation, um, hopefully they'll notice that the app is highlighted. If they click on the app, what it's going to do is it's going to open up our Iris application and show the new invitation from them. So really, all they have to do is hit start helping. So that'll give them, um, kind of give them a way to see that they have a new invitation and that they were invited as a secondary helper um, by Betty Fingerly and the carry is Chloe Badger. So we can say back, but it would take us out. But if we hit start helping, this particular user um, had already been in the system and so they don't have to register. But if they needed to register similar to the text message invite, they would come to the registration screen. So we try to be smart. If they're already part of the, the system, we don't want them to have to go through all of the steps. But if they aren't through part of the system yet, we do want to give them an opportunity to uh, set things up. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you again soon for the next help video.